viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast and I'm Monisha and you have the top 10 stories of the day. A mob pelted stones at the police on duty on Wednesday night at a location between Kataguri and Kohiguri village under Raha Police Station, Assam, which led to the damage to the Bolero vehicle of Raha Police Station. As per information, a man identified as Biddu Das of West Pasalabari village was severely beaten by a group of people suspected of being a cattle thief. After police went to control the situation, irate mobs started attacking the team of police. In a tragic incident, an elderly man lost his life after being attacked by wild elephants in Assam's Kaliabor. The incident occurred at Beluguri in Kaliabor's Laokhua on Wednesday night. The wild jumbo had entered the village from the Laokhua wildlife sanctuary at night in search of food. Assam police will conduct the second body mass index, index scheduled on August 16, 2024. Assam DGP GP Singh announced an information via the microblogging site X. It may be mentioned that on May 16, 2023, Assam police had decided to go on in for professional recording of BMI of all Assam police personnel. The Northeast region, including Assam, is facing a severe heat wave, causing concern among residents and authorities. The India Meteorological Department has issued predictions indicating temperatures nearly 5 degrees above normal until May 16 in various parts of Assam. Sikkim, nestled in the Himalaya, celebrates its 49th statehood day with messages of unity, progress and prosperity from key leaders across the nation. Sikkim's journey into the Indian Union began with the signing of the Indo-Sikkim Treaty in 1950, which established a special relationship between the two entities. In a significant development, four Zila Parishad members representing KE Panyori Lower Subansari District in Arunachal Pradesh have been disqualified under the anti-defection law. The decision made by Deputy Commissioner Vivek HP comes after the members were found guilty of defecting from the BJP to the NCP and supporting its candidate ahead of the assembly election. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar on Thursday said that Pakistan occupied Kashmir is an inseparable part of the country that will eventually come back to India. Reacting to the growing unrest and continued violence that is taking place in POK, he said that uh, there is no doubt that people in POK have been watching and getting affected with the massive development that has been taking place in Jammu and Kashmir over the last few years. Indian football legend Sunil Chetri on Thursday announced his decision to retire from international football after the FIFA World Cup qualification match against Kuwait, which is scheduled to take place on June 6, 2024. The Indian football icon announced his decision through a video that he posted on his social media accounts. Reigning Olympic and world champion Neeraj Chopra finished on the top and won the gold medal in the men's javelin final of the Federation Cup, marking his return after three years in the event at the Kalinga Stadium on Wednesday. Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico, who was critically injured in an assassination attempt on Wednesday, has regained consciousness after an operation lasting several hours. The attack has been classified as a politically motivated assassination. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.